Honey, a wonderful gift from nature, is not only a source of sweet flavor, but also a treasure trove of valuable nutrients. Each year, the United States produces approximately 250 million pounds of honey, with major production areas including California, Florida, and North Dakota. Beekeeping in the U.S. involves caring for colonies in beehives, where bees collect nectar and transform it into honey. Each colony produces between 30 to 60 pounds of honey annually, depending on climate conditions and floral availability. Pollination services provided by bees contribute an estimated $15 billion annually to U.S. agriculture. With continuous growth, beekeeping in the U.S. not only meets the demand for honey, but also plays a crucial role in sustainable agriculture and ecosystem preservation. Green agriculture technology, the journey of harvesting millions of tons of honey in the U.S. Did you know that the environment where bees are kept directly affects the quality of honey? An ideal beekeeping location should have a rich environment filled with flowers, plants, and minimal pollution allowing bees to easily collect nectar and maintain good health. In the United States, bee species like the Italian bee, Carniolan bee, and Caucasian bee are highly favored for their high reproduction rates, gentle temperament, and adaptability to harsh climates. These species have become top choices for commercial beekeeping and biodiversity conservation. Beekeepers often select queen larvae from the most exceptional colonies, ensuring the next generation inherits superior honey production abilities and strong resistance to diseases. This practice helps maintain stable productivity and consistent quality in the bee colonies. Have you ever wondered how honeybees are born from eggs? The journey from egg to adult bee showcases the remarkable life cycle of this incredible species. Queen bees typically lay eggs during spring and summer when flowers are abundant, with the ability to lay 1,500 to 2,000 eggs per day. A bee's life begins as an egg, progressing through the stages of larva, pupa, and finally emerging as an adult bee. After hatching, young bees are nourished with royal jelly, pollen, and honey, enabling them to grow quickly and develop fully.
In addition to collecting natural nectar, bees occasionally need supplementary feeding to maintain the health and activity of the colony. This is especially crucial during winter when flowers are scarce or lack sufficient nutrients, making the colony more vulnerable to weakening. Providing supplemental food not only helps sustain the health of worker bees, but also supports the development of the queen and larvae within the hive. This practice is essential for maintaining the productivity of the colony and ensuring consistent honey yields, even under adverse weather or environmental conditions. Bees require regular inspections to promptly detect signs of diseases or issues within the hive. Common threats include viruses, parasites like varroa mites, or hygiene problems that can negatively impact the colony's health. When a disease is identified, beekeepers should implement appropriate preventive or treatment measures. These may include using specialized medications, improving hive sanitation, or replacing the queen if necessary.
Additionally, routine hive inspections allow beekeepers to add new wax frames or adjust the hive size to accommodate the colony's growth and needs. Honey is harvested when the frames in the hive are fully filled with honey, and the colony is healthy enough to produce honey efficiently. The honeycomb boxes are carefully loaded onto trucks and transported to the processing facility. Here, the honey is processed, packaged, and distributed to consumers, ensuring quality and purity throughout the process. When honey arrives at the processing facility, it undergoes a scientifically managed and careful process to ensure the highest quality. First, the honeycombs are taken to the receiving and inspection area, where the honey is evaluated for color, consistency, and flavor to classify its quality. Combs are then placed into a honey extractor where centrifugation separates the honey from the wax. The extracted honey flows through a multi-layer filtration system which removes impurities, residues, and excess wax, ensuring absolute purity. After filtration, the honey is gently heated at a low temperature to preserve its natural nutrients without compromising its quality.